Hi folks, my name is Sergey Lemberg. I run the law firm of Lemberg & Associates. And here's our website, stopcollector.com. There's a lot of useful information on the website about how to stop debt collectors and what your rights are. I want to talk to you today about five things, five things you need to know about the FDCPA, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act that regulates collectors. The first thing is, it only applies to third-party debt collectors. What's a third-party debt collector? Well, it doesn't apply to banks. It doesn't apply to credit unions. It doesn't apply to the gas company. It doesn't apply to the city. It doesn't apply to the process servers who serve complaints. It only applies to debt collectors, people who are collecting debts for others or who buy debts for others. And that's rule number one. The second thing for you to remember is the FDCPA doesn't stop debt collectors from being unpleasant or pushy. That's not what it's for. It prohibits abuse or harassment, but it doesn't prohibit debt collectors from demanding money. It doesn't prohibit them from engaging you in unpleasant conversations. Debt collection is unpleasant. When people owe money and debt collectors go after them, sometimes unpleasant conversations occur, and that's just it. The third thing you need to know is that the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act heavily regulates what debt collectors can do with respect to calling third parties who don't owe the debt. Now, who are third parties? Well, third parties are your neighbors. Third parties are your friends. Third parties are your relatives, your parents your siblings, your children, anyone other than you. And the rule is very simple. If they don't have your contact information, they can call the third parties only once to correct or confirm your location information. In other words, they can do no more and no less than call your mother and say, Dear Mrs. Smith, I am calling about a private matter with respect to Jonathan Smith, is the following his correct location information, or do you know where I can find them? If asked, they have to reveal the name of their company, but what they cannot do is they cannot reveal the nature of their call, the reason for their call. And that has to do with the laws concerned to preserve the privacy of the debtor, to make sure that the debtor is not embarrassed by the fact that money is owed. The fourth thing you need to know is that the Fair Debt Collection Act doesn't stop debt collectors from coming to your house. Now, this is an unusual collection technique, but there is nothing inherently illegal with a debt collector coming to your house during the day and asking that money be paid or delivering a notice by hand. These concerns have been raised and there's nothing in the law to stop people from doing that. Finally, the fifth thing you need to know is that you have a right to stop harassment. You have a right to stop the abuse. Don't take it on the chin. If a debt collector is harassing or abusing you, if they are being beyond reason rude, if they are calling third parties, if they are making your life miserable just because you owe a bill, pick up the phone, give us a call, and we can help you stop it and even recover money from the debt collector for the illegal harassment.